It is considered to be one of the biggest mob hits in decades. A reputed Gambino boss was gunned down in front of his home on Staten Island last night, and sources say it may have been an inside job. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell live in the Toad Hill section with more for us this noon. Janelle? And good afternoon to you, Chris and Jessica. An extensive investigation underway here on Hilltop Terrace on Staten Island behind us. You can see police working to tow away the SUV of Francesco Cali from outside of his home here, which is a crime scene here this afternoon. Now, sources say investigators are working into several possible motives, and they say police have video from a distance of one of the suspects who they are looking for. They also say this is the first murder of a mob boss in New York City in more than 30 years. This upscale neighborhood of Tote Hill, Staten Island, now teeming with detectives. The driveway outside of this stately brick home, the bloody scene of what's believed to have been a brazen mafia hit. Wow, that's shocking. I mean, I didn't really think that that still would be something that would happen up here. These neighbors returning home this morning stunned by the news. Others heard the gunshots. Investigators say it was around 9:15 Wednesday night when 53-year-old Francesco Cali was outside of his car in his driveway when the gunfire began. Sources say as many as a dozen shots fired. The bullets hitting Cali multiple times. The reputed mob boss collapsing in the driveway with his wife and young children reportedly inside their home as it happened. Callie was rushed to Staten Island University Hospital North, where he was pronounced dead soon after. Sources say since 2015, Callie, nicknamed Frankie Boy, had been one of three members of the so-called ruling council of the Gambino crime family. Before rising to the level of boss, Callie served a 16-month sentence in federal prison for extortion for a failed NASCAR racetrack project on Staten Island. Callie was said to keep a low profile, running a heroin and prescription drug operation. We know that there used to be um, sort of a mob presence here. We we um, I guess we kind of thought it was done. We, we, we yeah we, we thought we, we thought this was like the one of the safer neighborhoods on Staten Island. I guess unless you're in the mafia. <laughs> Well, investigators this afternoon are looking for a pickup truck that witnesses say they saw leaving the scene a short time after the shooting. We're also told that police have obtained a search warrant for a surveillance video from Callie's home, but it's not clear at this time whether that may have captured the suspect or if those cameras were working. We're live this afternoon from the Tote Hill section of Staten Island. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. All right, Janelle, thank you.